coordination between the two prototypes there may be aided by marshal signals so that they can do a three-point turn safely and rejoin the racetrack nose to tail for the head of the order Roman Rusinov versus Louis Delatraz with Phil Hansen just about still keeping touch he's 1.3 seconds away from the rear wing of Delatraz Julian Canal the man from Le Mans regularly racing with Panis Racing. He's back with that team this year as well, number 65. He's in four, the head of the Pro-Am leader, who is Antonin Borger for Cool Racing. As we came past the end of the pits there, you could see against the wall on the inside, Henrik Hedman's car beyond the tree line. I wonder if he's retired it. Very wide indeed for the race leader, way out onto the red and white curbing there, that might be a chance, this may be the opportunity that Louis Delatras has been waiting for, he's got the TF Sport Aston Martin just ahead of him as well, but actually good driving from the Aston pilot, uh, John Hartshorn. So John steering clear of the two LMP2s and G-Drive now under huge pressure. They're about to go into a yellow flag zone. No, the yellows have been lifted. So I think you're probably right about Henrik Hedman maybe parking it. What's happened to the Team Virage LMP3? Can't see that at Turn 7 either. But G-Drive from Team WRT, there is literally two car lengths between them for the race lead. And it's sucking Phil Hansen in as well. Uh, the Virage car has restarted, by the way, but uh, Dragon Speed still stationary there. 26 car. So they virtually side by side heading out of turn 11 is the opportunity for Louis Delatraz just around this corner into the chicane in a moment or two he'll have to be fully alongside if he's going to go for a move like that and be fully committed he just wasn't quite close enough and now Phil Hansen is close uh, to be a, a major distraction for, du for Louis Delatraz I think it come through and watch this lead battle just look to the end of pit lane, see whether or not we still can again see that Dragon Speed car. I think that's where it's parked. It's just... Here he comes, here he comes to the inside, inside line, turn number one. De Delatraz going for it, Roman Rizanov trying to move back again. He may lose second place here as well to Phil Hansen, who is all over the back of the Russian driver for G-Drive Racing. A round of applause down at Team WRT. They're brand new to the championship, and already they lead the opening round with Louis Delatraz uh, taking a patient approach and eventually the pressure told on Roman Rusinov who took, went a little bit wide, the inside line was there for Delatraz and Roman Rusinov had to concede in the end but he has held on to second place, there was a major change in direction for Roman Rusinov just about giving Louis Delatraz enough racing room and there was the lead change at turn number one and Hansen very close indeed but didn't make it. Yeah, Rusinov went way too deep in there didn't he, didn't find the grip and uh, Delatraz Great move, started way, way back further down that straight.